life is not about partying all the time and looking good all the time and being in ego and physicality all the time. Life is way more than that. You got to stop letting people curse you. You got to stop letting people project their insecurities and their dumbness or their badness or their weaknesses onto you because you're only allowing yourself to be hurt. You're only hurting yourself by letting these people project these weak and negative thoughts, weak and negative energies onto you. The only thing that can limit you is believing that you are limited. Become limitless. Become limitless. I had to go through everything that I went to, to break me, to bring me down to rock bottom so I could build myself back up from scratch. So I can unbecome everything that I was taught to be, all that weak stuff, all that excuse stuff, all that not getting aware stuff and become everything that I was meant to be. Not letting somebody else's words and how they feel determine who I am and my success and where I'm going to go and what I'm going to be. You'll, you'll see if a person really love you and care about you when you start being more than what they actually thought that you could be, more than what they thought and they wanted you to be. When you break away from that limited conditioning mindset that they put in you, you'll start seeing the real them. You'll start seeing if they really love you. You have to take action on the you that you want to be, on the life that you want to have. I'm sorry, y'all. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Ain't nobody coming to save you. If a person does come to save you, it's a manipulation tactic. More than likely, they want something out of it and they're getting something out of it. And also, they are making you weak. If it's not a joint effort, it's not y'all putting in equal work to make y'all story work, to make y'all life work, to make both of y'all better, then somebody is hindering the other person. You have to take action on the life that you want, on the you that you want to be. Share your truth with others and don't let nobody take your truth from you. Your truth is not everybody else's truth. Your truth is your truth for a reason. And your truth can heal you from all your trauma, from all your hurt, from all your pain. It might not stop you from going through trials and tribulations because remember, God got to take you through them tests. But your truth can heal you by looking at the truth for what it really is, for looking at the truth no matter who did it to you, what happened to you, and where it happened to you. Your truth is your truth. Speak your truth. That's how you heal, no matter who feels some type of way about it, because people are going to feel some type of way about your truth, because it lets the truth be known about you and your story. But your story matters. That's the way you heal yourself. The same way you got into the hurt, the pain, the trial and the tribulation is the same way you're going to get out the hurt, the pain, the trial and the tribulations by speaking your truth, knowing your truth, loving your truth, accepting your truth, being in your truth and living your truth and not letting that break you, not letting the truth break you, looking at the truth and letting it heal you no matter how much it hurts. If you're getting hurt by people constantly, keep in mind, they're not hurting you because you are you. They're hurting you because they are hurt and hurt people hurt people. And those are the very people that you got to get away from because they're not living in their truth. They allowed the hurt and the pain, the trials and tribulations to hurt them by covering up their truth. Some people will hurt you and then act like you hurt them and then act like the victim because again, they're lying to themselves. They're not living in their truth. And the only thing that's going to set you free <laughs> is the truth, baby, is the truth. Just remember, if you never heal from what has hurt you, if you don't start living in your truth and let that build you up and make you stronger, if you never heal from that hurt, 
You're going to bleed on everybody you so-called love. You are going to hurt the people that you truly care about because you are not living in your truth. You're lying to yourself. So you become somebody that you're not. You're placing a mask on yourself. And then you show these people the mask you, and that's not really you. So you're hurting them with being somebody that's fake. You got to live in your truth. You got to heal with your truth. Never regret being a good person to the wrong people because deep down in your heart, you know, you ain't done nothing to hurt nobody. And that's what God bases you off of, judges you off of your heart. So that's why you can walk around with your head held high and your shoulders back and your back straight because you know, you ain't deliberately and intentionally hurt anybody. And you've been there for people, even for the people that constantly try to hurt you and bring you down. Your behavior says everything about you and their behavior says everything about them. Don't let somebody else's false narrative be your story. You be your author. You be your creator. You have the decisions. You have the free will for your life. So stop letting people control you and manipulate you just because you want somebody there. Be there for you. Be there for you. It's going to get lonely. Be there for you, though. Because once you start demanding respect and having respect and not caring if somebody like you, but but only only caring if somebody respects you, you gonna attract a lot of different people, a lot of different environments, and a lot of different energies. You really gonna have a different life once you start truly loving you and walking in your truth. In the end, hurting a good person will only hurt you more. When you realize not many genuine people exist anymore and that you just took a major, major loss. Being a good person, most all the time we're still going to love the very people that hurt us. We're going to love them with everything in us, but it does not change the fact that we have to let those people go if we want to grow, if we want to be better, if we want to heal, if we want to transform, if we want to be the greatest version of ourselves and self-love and put ourselves first. It's worth it. It's doable. You can literally change your life for the better. It ain't going to be easy, but it's the best decision that you could ever make. Loving yourself wholeheartedly. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that notification bell for more videos like this to come. Get those entries in for the giveaway, y'all. With all that being said, I love y'all. God loves y'all.